Kevin Kofi joins us now from his home in New Orleans. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? How you doing? I mean, can you believe it? Six seasons. Six seasons, man. I'm still here. I'm still here. You know, <laughs> You're still I'm here. The here. show. Is, I remember being on set the very first season and how exciting wow. it was to see the show based in New Orleans with a cast and crew like yourself dedicated to that city. You call New Orleans now your second home. Yeah, it feels like my first. You know, I'm barely in L.A. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I actually uh, just got a home out here, so now it's official. Now it's official, but um, that was a big step for me. But I love this city. I love this city. It's been nothing but good to me. And you know, you were there, obviously, and our thoughts and prayers were all the families after Hurricane Ida. You had to evacuate as well. So Man. you live this experience as, as a true person who lives and breathes for New Orleans and its future. I mean, absolutely. I think there was people who definitely got hit. Luckily, um, I left the city two days before Ida hit, not even knowing it was coming. It ended up being gone for a month instead of four days like I planned. But uh, it's a strong city. You know, they're bouncing back. I think I think they get a kick out of I think they get a kick out of the uh, the challenges. <laughs> Listen, it, I, New Orleans is a second home to me. It is the best and most magical place on the planet. And that is why. I think when Queen Sugar premiered on OWN in its sixth season, I mean, there have been so many episodes and moments. You have, what is it, all-female directors? Is that the case? They're all-female? Every single, every single show has been directed by a female after I mean, after I say movie. that, and I don't even know why I say it with a question mark, because I knew that to be a fact, but when I think about your own background, with your mother, who is a media mogul, Koshi, your mother. To, it's like <laughs> strong women just follow you everywhere you go. Man, it's a blessing. I think I think my mom raised me right. Uh, she taught me. She taught me how to navigate in this world. And um, I think just being so familiar with a love like that, um, naturally, I connect with those kind of people. So, you know, from Ava to Oprah, they always kind of felt like mother figures um, in an industry that's not really lovey-dovey like that. You know, yeah. it's still Hollywood. So. Um, it's beautiful to be on set. I think I've worked with over 40 different um, female directors and uh, of all all kinds of everything. <laughs> well, um, and uh, yeah, I think I think that's probably one of the coolest parts about the show. To be now, honest. now you yeah. mentioned that that Ava and Oprah are like mother figures. I went on your social media page. Not everybody wants to be your mother. <laughs> Kofi. <laughs> um, hey, <he's> funny. <laughs> listen. Okay, there was a photo on Instagram, and what had happened was I ended up on your picture, and I started uh, reading comments like, this is what they say about you, and I got embarrassed. My team pulled some of them. I, this is the edited version, Kofi. Uh, word. Yeah, word. Um, somebody wrote, yummy. Somebody said, I'm ready to be your wife. Love of my life. There are people in here saying, hello. <laughs> Hello. From your, your phenomenal performance and hilarious performance in Girls Trip to your character in Queen Sugar, how do you process all of this, this adoration? And people's most sexy. I mean, you've just... Man. Gratitude. Gratitude. I feel like gratitude, man. I'm just so grateful. Um, I just really love what I do, and I love meeting people and... Uh, I like having fun, so I, I think I think you know just staying staying grateful is definitely my anchor. Yeah. Well, and that's true because I'll tell you, being around Ava, Ava keeps great company and she keeps you grounded. I do love this thing she posted on social media. Ava's grandma, who's 88 years old, is a fan of yours too. Now she oh, didn't put man. those comments, <laughs> but, <laughs> but let me show you what that Ava so posted. Good. Let me show you what Ava's grandma was doing watching the show. His voice is different and sexy. Uh, sexy? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't you think so? I do. I do think so. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't either. I just, I, I just, yeah, yeah.
Joining us now from her home in LA is the woman he credits for his <laughs> success, his mom, Koshi Mills. <laughs> Koshi, where do I start? Okay, you are a media mogul. You run your own PR firm. You manage Kofi. You manage your two other sons, Kwame and Kwesi, three actors. You call them three kings. Yes. Yes. Ah, listen, but but to be to raise a king, you gotta be a queen. And you at you gave up your career, a 19-year career as a nurse, to yes. back their dreams. What what made you make that sacrifice for family? You know what's so funny? Hi, Tamara. Hi, Koshi. <laughs> <laughs> You guys had me blushing. I had to, you know, close my eyes on all those sexy talks. Oh, I did too. <laughs> but honestly, um, it's not credit to just me. It's credit to my husband as well. Shout out to my husband, Kwame. Mm -hmm. um, I think more than anything, we just wanted to raise our sons with intention and love. And so when we discovered they had a talent and a gift, we made the sacrifice, and um, I was the most flexible one, flexible one, so yeah. We decided that we need to help push them along. Um, I know that he loves bringing by dates to get your seal of approval. Um, <laughs> aw, they say. You're gonna have the strip ways coming after me, stop. I, I'm not saying anything, I'm not asking anything. I don't know what to ask. Are you, is he dating, what, what's going on? Kofi? Uh, <laughs> I'm not here. I'm not here. <laughs> You're not here. But but if he were dating someone, you she'd come by and you would say yay or nay. How does that work? If he were. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And I'm leaning right into it. In an African family, if it's not serious, don't come by. <laughs> So if it's not serious, don't come by. Has anyone come by lately? Look at you. Stop asking. <laughs> hey, hey. Okay. 